If a child survives a horrific crash, burn, or fall, they can have less than an hour to live. But even doctors can be rattled. Instead of seeing the patient this length, you actually have a six kilo baby. Right. And those are the most difficult for people that are not used to this. He says kids are not small adults. Emotions can run high, care slows down, and deadly mistakes are made. Nearly one million children die from injuries worldwide every year. We found that lots of deaths could be prevented if the health providers had better training. And pediatric surgeons at McGill University have come up with a way to offer it. So this is apparently a four-year-old that was involved in a car crash. It's called Petite VR, a virtual ER, where all the patients are injured kids. So this patient is bleeding inside the abdomen. Right. No expensive medical mannequins, travel or courses. This training can be done anywhere, anytime. The idea of being able to train all these people literally in their homes with a $300 headset on their head, and that's it, is so exciting. This Ottawa surgeon says the more simulations doctors and nurses can do, the better. Petite VR would give staff in rural parts of Canada and lower income countries a chance to work with leading specialists. When you have something like virtual reality that could um, allow multiple users in different locations to come together, um, this, is, this is something big. All right, let's give it a try. We are instantly inside an operating room. My leg hurts so bad. I think it's broken. It's amazing how realistic the wound looks. The doctor stops the bleeding, orders tests and scans. The system tracks what he does, how fast, and scores him. McGill is hoping to offer up the first simulations this summer. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure working with you. See you soon. <laughs> Training in tech that could save young lives around the globe for decades to come. Christine Birak, CBC News, Montreal.